Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. With the office exams just around the corner, it is the perfect time to go through previous year questions. In this video and also in the upcoming videos, we will solve all the available past questions. This will not only help you in solving them correctly, but also serve as a quick revision with all the related concepts covered. Make sure to take detailed notes and revise everything before the exam. What I suggest is that in the OPSC exam, they cover the full syllabus. So you don't need to practice very tough problems, but it is crucial to cover the entire syllabus. Make short notes for each term mentioned in the syllabus and be fully prepared before the exam. Right? Let's start. Number one. In approximation methods, the Hamiltonian consists of putter part and unputter part. Which of the following statements are correct? We know the putter part is relatively smaller than the unputter part. Okay, so A is your correct option. Next, question number two. Which one of the following is not coming under approximation method? We know perturbation method is a approximation method, variational method is a approximation method, then your WKB method is a approximation method, but this bone approximation is not an approximation method. Okay, so C is your correct option. Next, question number three. Degeneracy is related to time independent perturbation. Okay, so A is your correct option. Next, question number four. Degeneracy is defined as Several eigen functions corresponding to same energy. Okay, so A is your correct option. Next, question number 5. Choose the correct answer. You know, higher the order of water vessel, greater is the removal of degeneracy. So C is your correct option. Next, question number 6. If UM and UL are two orthonormal states corresponding to unperturbed energy EM, this is the case of doubly degenerate. Okay, so C is your correct option. Next, question number 7. Transition probability is related to time dependent approximation. Okay, so B is your correct option. Okay, so see one thing here. After solving these seven questions, you can understand that they are covering full syllabus. They have included the questions from WKB, from perturbation method, from variational method, from time independent perturbation, time dependent approximation. Okay. So you need to cover the full syllabus. You need to know all the basic things related to those concepts. Okay. Next, question number eight. Psi is the wave function under the approximation. See, psi here depending on n number of para parameters and this type of consideration we consider in variational method. Okay, so C is the correct option. Next, question number 9. W equals to this expression refers to second order correction to energy. Okay, second order correction to energy. Option B. Similarly, you should revise the first order correction to energy. First order correction to energy. Let uh, us write for the uh, n state. Okay, so this is n water Hamiltonian n. Similarly, uh, the first order. Sorry, this is not this you know. Okay, so let me write again the first order correction of the energy in the n state. So n water Hamiltonian n. Okay, similarly you should. Oh, uh, Remember the first order correction to the wave function. Okay. okay. So the first order correction of the wave function of the n state given by summation m not equals to n inner product of psi m pattern Hamiltonian psi n divided by e n 0 minus e m 0 psi m. Okay. So, you should remember all these three expressions. Next, question number 10. WKB method is applicable when potential energy is slowly varying function of position. Okay. 
So B is your correct option. So you can check this question is repeated many times in OPSC in SSV exam. Okay. So you should revise this carefully. Like many times they have asked also the mathematical expression like the D lambda by DX should be less than 1. SSV PGT question. Okay. And uh, like WKP method is a semi-classical method. Semi-classical method. Okay, next. 11. In WKB method, at the turning point, okay, so turning point means uh, this is potential energy equals to total energy. Okay, so there will be kinetic energy will be zero. Propagation constant vanishes, wavelength become infinite. Okay, so both the options are correct, both A and B. And also remember, a turning point wave function becomes infinite. Okay. So you can check any uh, standard book, you will find uh, this uh, concept. Okay. Otherwise, I will um, suggest you to follow a book. There is a book, Arul Das. Arul, sorry. Arul Das, uh, 500 problems in quantum mechanics. Okay. You will uh, find many concepts uh, in this book. Next, question number 12. WKB method is semi-classical method. Okay. So, C is your correct option. Next question. Question number 13. At the turning point of WKB method, V equals to E. Okay. So, C is your correct option. Next, 14. Variational method is best suited for obtaining ground state energy. Okay. So, B is your correct option. Next, question number 15. Variational method principle employs accurate estimate of energy using less accurate wave function. Okay, so A is your correct answer. Next, question number 16. In variational method, larger the number of parameters closer to the ground state energy. Because, you see, in the variational method of quantum mechanics, the choice of trial wave function psi is crucial in approximating the ground state energy of a quantum system. A more flexible trial wave function with a large number of parameters, let there is n parameters, that allows for a better approximation to the true ground state energy. With uh, a larger number of parameters in the trial wave function, you can um, Potentially capture more detailed features of the system and adjust the shape of the wave function to better match the actual ground state uh, wave function. So, this can lead to the closure approximation to the ground state energy. Okay. So, A is your correct option. Next, question number 17. The condition for variational method is okay. see what we did in variational method. We uh, consider a uh, wave function depending on different parameters okay then we define the uh, expectation value of the hamiltonian or you can say the energy then we minimize the energy okay so that is del h del lambda equals to zero so this is the condition for the variational method so c is your correct option next question number 18 this expression refers to Continuous state. Okay, so B is your correct option. Next, 19. In the variational method, if the error in choosing the wave function is 0 0.1, then the error in finding the energy is it will be 0 0.01. So, your correct option is option C. Okay. So, C. Let the error in wave function is 0 0.1. Now, the error in finding the energy will be the expression let del E represents the error in energy and this will be delta psi square by normalization of wave function. Okay. So, considering this normalization condition to be 1, then this error in the energy will depend on this value. So, if you take the square of this 
quantity 0.1 you will get 0.01 okay so your correct option will be option c next question number 20 transition probability under the time dependent perturbation is okay so if you see the transition probability for unit time is proportional to the matrix element of the perturbation between the initial and final state okay with the density of final state also influencing the probability okay so the expression will be this option c next question number 21 stark effect can be studied by time independent perturbation okay so your correct option is option a see in stark effect an additional term q e let the direction be x so this term will be added to the unperturbed hamiltonian so with this term you can solve the hamiltonian for scoring your equation using the time independent perturbation okay so your correct option is option a next question number 22 the splitting of a spectral line into several components in the presence of an electric field is known as stark effect okay so d is your correct option and in in the presence of magnetic field it is Zeeman effect next 23 for lagging axon to occur, the medium must have at least three energy level. So C is your correct option. Next, 24. For lagging axon to take place, which one of the following is necessary? So this is stimulated emission. Okay. So C is your correct option. Next, 25. In spontaneous emission, the emitted photons can move any random direction. Okay, so C is your correct option. Okay, so we have completed up to question number 25. Let's stop here. We will continue from question number 26 in the next video. If you have any questions or need further clarification on any question, feel free to leave a comment below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel for more such videos. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.